let me continue with uh, our next part here. Uh, I'm going to do number seven. I'm not going to do all of it, but I'll probably start you out in like AB. We're going to do a couple of these things after a while. I hope you get the gist of doing all of this right now. But uh, I'm looking at, if you look at number seven in this right here, um, these are the values that number seven is being used. Okay, so let me just grab this really quick, and I'm gonna. I like to do is to um, use this as a uh, on my uh, board that I'm gonna actually have you um, take a look at this. Let's see, let's see. And um, on here, what you're gonna see is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use. Remember now, X. In this problem, I'm just put it on here so we can actually keep my going tab with this thing. So if x is going to be equal to 3, um, y is equal to 18, and z is 9.5, and w, you have four variables that's always going on right now. So you have to use the expression that's in here. So for example, a, I'm just going to do a. Uh, they want you to put 3 in here, so 3 plus y is what? 3 plus y, y is 18, right? Put a parentheses and you're going to mod that with y again, which is another 18. What does that equal? Well, just do the math here. This is 21 mod 18. This would give you a remainder of 3, right? 18 goes into 21 one time with the remainder of mod is 3. So that's how that works with it. Take a look at letter B. Letter B wants you to put in x is uh, 3, right? And mod y in this case is 18. And that uh, subtract that from w is 3.5. What does that equal? Again, what is this? 3 mod 18, that will give you is what? 3. Remember, if you have a smaller number modding on it, it's the number itself. And you're going to subtract that one 3.5. Of course, this is going to end up as a negative 0.5. That's the answer. C. W, okay, in this case, uh, is what? W is 3.5 plus z, that's z, 9.5, and then want that in parentheses, and that all that's divided by your w, which is 3.5. So if you look at this, you add up these two numbers right here, let's see if I can actually move this up a little bit, um, you add up these two numbers right here, right, is, um, I'm sorry, What's Z? Z is 18, not 3.5. It's 18. I wrote that wrong. So it's 18 plus 9.5. Uh, 9, 27, that's 27.5 for this part right here. Okay? And that needs to be divided into 3.5. Well, oh my god, long division. Now you recall 3.5, divide that into 20. 20, sorry, 27.5. Recall our math is that we need to move this decimal over to one plot, one position, so we get whole number divided by whole numbers. So if I did that, I have to move this over by one number. So I'm going to rewrite this as 35 divided into 27.5 point right here. Okay, so how many times is 20, 35 going to 275? I say about 7. 7 times 35, okay, to carry 7, 35, 3, 21, 24. Subtract that, becomes 30. You have a decimal, bring down your zero here. So how many, how many times does 35 going to 300? Make sure you have your decimal here. 8. So 8 times 5, 40. 8 times 3 is 24. 24 plus 4 is 28. That's 20. 
another zero here. So how many times is 35 going to um, go to 200? So this can go on and on and on. So here's what I'm going to do. I want to take my calculator. So you can also do this on a calculator as well. 35 divided into 275. Should get about, um, I'm sorry, the other way around. Reverse that. It's actually 275. 27.5 divide that into 3.5 and you get 7.8 something like this so this this is going to come over here after this if you do this long division it should be a 5 I believe and 7 1 4 okay so the answer is 7.8 seven one four for letter C. Alright, so you can go ahead and, and do the rest of these on your own with this thing, alright?